This is Geometry, Chapter 9, Section 6, in which we will study dilations. Now again, we talked about dilations back in Chapter 4. We're going to look at it just a little bit deeper. Okay. A dilation is nothing more than a similarity transformation. It reduces or enlarges the size of the figure based off of some center point using something called a scale factor that tells you how much bigger or smaller to make it. Okay. Now our job here is to draw the image under the given dilation, K is 3 halves, that tells me the dilation, with the center point J. Now don't get center point confused because you think you're looking at this, say it's not in the middle. No, center point means what you're measuring from when you're talking about dilations. So you're going to take the distance from J to that corner. Okay, have a good eyeball dis distance on that. And you're going to multiply that times 3 halves. So if this were an inch, then you would go out to an inch and a half. Okay, if it were a foot, you'd go to a foot and a half. Well, I'm just going to kind of estimate there for that first point. This one is quite the distance out. Okay. This one is even further. And then this one somewhere in there. And if I had measured very carefully and precisely, don't want that. I want that. If I've measured this very carefully and precisely, then I should have not you. Should have the same basic shape. And I had a parallelogram, and now I still have a parallelogram, more or less. Okay. As always, I'm not going to be hyper picky on that point. As long as you have the right idea, I'm good to go. What I'm going to need you to do on your homework is give me the center point, you know, draw the original thing with the center point, and then draw your dilation so that I can see that you expanded it the right amount, roughly, or shrunk it the right amount roughly. Okay. Not going to be too picky, but just give me that much so that I can look and see if you, you, that you're doing the right idea, doing the right thing. Now we can do these with coordinates as well. And typically we're going to have our dilations centered at the origin. I can't imagine them throwing anything else other than the origin at you. That would be kind of uh, being a pain in the rear if they did that. So we're going to graph this quadrilateral. Well, we know how to graph that. Negative 3, 6. Negative 3, 9. Negative 6. Hey, why'd you let me get away with that? It's negative 3, negative 9. Helps to read the problem, Skinner. Negative 6, negative 3, and negative 9, 3. And we have a quadrilateral. We didn't advertise it to be a pretty quadrilateral. It's almost a uh, just a triangle. There's a little bit of an angle there. All right, now our job is to find the tra the dilation of this with a scale factor of two thirds. So the idea now is we're going to take each one of these values and multiply it by two thirds. So 2 thirds times negative 3, 6 would be negative 2, 4. Okay, 
I'm trusting you to be able to use your calculator to generate these if you can't just generate them from your head. So now we can plot those, negative 2, 4, negative 2, negative 6, okay, negative 4, negative 2, and negative 6, 2. The new values that we found and you will see that it is a similar shape, okay, just shrunk, and we're not too surprised to see it as a shrink because the scale factor is smaller than one, so we are reducing the size of it. The okay. secret is to use the multiplier times the coordinates. Okay. Uh, hopefully, if you had questions along the way, you wrote those down, bring them in with you, and we will see you in class.